Jonathan Wainscott. Since Maggie has to take a second to set up my PowerPoint, I just want to say hi and not take that out of my time. It's so nice to see everybody in person. You won't deduct that from my time, will you, Maggie? Not, not till I get over there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's hear it from Maggie Burleson. All right, ready? Uh, it's been only one year since uh, the Asheville Citizen Times reported that our first black alderman here in Asheville was Newton Shepard. He was elected in 1882 and served one year through 1883. And coincidentally, that is the year that 23-year-old Locke Craig moved to Asheville. He was a lawyer and became a heavy hitter in the Democratic political party. He served as the Asheville city attorney and the Buncombe County Council. So he would have been here when Asheville had its first and only black alderman when we had a district election system. And that is what he looked like. And he would have been here in uh, January of 1888 when the Asheville city school system was founded. Had Isaac Dixon, the first black person to serve on that agency. He was here in uh, July of 1888 when John Humphreys was lynched and he served as counsel for um, the uh, mobsters that lynched Hezekiah Rankin in 1891. In 1893, the Young Men's Institute opened up downtown, cultural center of uh, black community. And just one year later after that, Zebulon Vance died. Locke Craig was uh, quite a big fan of his. August of 1897, Bob Bratchett was lynched. Just a couple months after that, we had the cornerstone of the Vance Monument placed. A couple months after that, the Vance Monument was completed. On May 10th, Locke Craig gave a great speech praising Zebulon Vance, and just two days later, Locke Craig and Charles Aycock were down in Laurenburg, North Carolina, announcing their intentions to restore North Carolina with white supremacy and redeem North Carolina to its pre-Confederate values with a grand democratic rally, extolling the virtues of white men, asked white men of all political faiths to join in the cause to redeem North Carolina. And that's what happened apparently in the election of 1898. This is the front page of the Asheville Citizen Times it says North Carolina is redeemed. Democracy triumphant, white men will rule. Democracy triumphant, white men will rule Asheville and Buncombe County in line from that article. Democratic Party Chairman J.D. Murphy and President D.M. Luther of the Zeb Vance Democratic Club were the recipients of many congratulations for the splendid success attending their management of the campaign. President Luther said to the citizen, I never felt so good about anything in my whole life. The entire Democratic organization in Asheville has been under the direction of the Zeb Vance Democratic Club and the zealous work of its membership has brought about this magnificent Thank you. result. So Thank for those of you who need a primer on what our values were back then, that's what's up.